everyone, it's Rodessa. There's a popular trend on YouTube right now where people follow other YouTubers' makeup tutorials. Ali Glines, who I've followed since the Gardner Sisters, has been doing some of these videos recently, and I thought it'd be cool if I followed one of her makeup tutorials. So this makeup look is based on the Morphe 35R palette. I don't have that exact palette, but I do have a Morphe palette of similar colors. So let's see how this turns out. If I can recreate that, that would look so good. I've never done something like this before. Hey guys, and welcome back to Hello. My In today's tutorial, I'm going to be creating this look using the new Morphe 35R palette. Oh my gosh, I love this palette. Before we get into the tutorial, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Done. Join the family. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer oh. as an eyeshadow primer. I just spread it out with my concealer brush and then flattened it down even more with my finger. Um, I think she just put this on her eyelids for priming the eyes, so... Let's see. Let me push play again. I'm going to go ahead and set that with a... Uh, with the lightest shade in the Morphe oh, palette. Oh, wait! Lightest... This Morphe palette doesn't have a light shade like she does, so I'm gonna use my Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette and use a similar color. I'm gonna use custard off of this one. This will really help create a nice powdery base for all the eyeshadows to blend on. So I'm gonna go in with that like rose toned shade. It's a little bit, I think it's like one of the lightest shades as Wait, well. Wait, I'm not done our... with the concealer part. Somebody needs to post a makeup tutorial video where they don't cut out anything so we can follow along exactly. And then what did she use? A rosy color? She used like a matte rosy color though. So what if I use like this color define? It might be too dark though. Transition shade. This palette is so pretty, you guys. So it's a little I'm bit lighter, so maybe. Into the crease and then making sure that it's blended out. I'll mix it really with nicely, upbeat. A little bit above the crease as well as a transition shade. So now I'm going to go into this mauve color. Wait, 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 wait. So. I'm using Upbeat and Define off of my palette um, for the transition shade. Oh yeah, and I only have one eyeshadow brush, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. And then what did Deepen you use? Deepen up the crease a little bit using that same brush, just making sure to blend it into that a darker shade, shade as well. That's always the key with oh. eyeshadow. Just a so what if I use more of the Define shade, which is a little bit darker for the crease? And then I'm going to go into this beautiful cranberry shade. And I'm just focusing that on the outer half of my I eye. I don't have that. Don't into the product Ooh, over into this the one. corner of the eye. It'll be covered up by another shadow later. So, so I'm going back into the Lorac, the Lorac palette. And this one's called Goji. So it's more of a cranberry shade that she used. And I think she just put this like right here. What's next? So I'm going to go in with this really beautiful gold shade and I took my finger. You can either use your finger or, your, or a wet eyeshadow brush. I feel like that helps with the um, pigment payoff the best. And inner half of my lid and then use the excess product to kind of dab over the outer half of my lid if that makes sense. So the pigment is concentrated in the inner half but it also kind of ombres or fades out onto the other half of the eye if that makes sense. I wanted it to be a little bit more intense than it was that first round, so I went ahead and added a little bit more with my finger after that as well. So I'm going to take a Okay, really this is going to take a while because I'm still on the first lid, and she did it twice. I'm using Bronzed Beauty on this palette, so it's a little darker than a gold, but maybe if I add it with Spark. Let's try blending. Wow, that is very bold. I've never done anything as bold as this before. That doesn't look too bad, so maybe if we continue, it'll get better. So I'm going to take a really pretty matte purple shade, and I'm just going to add a little bit more depth on the outer third of my eye. So I went ahead and just patted that on the outer third. Um, I'm still working on the purple shade, and my battery is almost out of my phone. Okay, so I'm doing the purple shade using Cabernet or Cabernet. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's on the Lorac palette because there wasn't a purple one on the Morphe palette. And I think I put a little too much. So the gold is kind of not there anymore. So I'm going to go back into the bronze gold color. Ah, there we go. 
I'm going to create a wing liner out of a dark brownish purple shade in the palette. I think it's the darkest shade in the palette. I need a flat angled brush for this portion. I know I had one, but I can't find it, so I found this flat brush that I'll use. If I had an angle brush, this would do so much better. The brush is too thick, it's not working for me. Okay, this brush is not working, so the wing is looking really thick. It looks like she's using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara See, on I was the right. top lashes only right now. I don't have that mascara anymore. It's old and I didn't rebuy it. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because I think it's fairly similar in consistency and the brush type is similar. Um, she didn't curl her lashes, not that I saw, so we'll see how this works because I know she has um, long curly eyelashes naturally and mine always stick straight down and they're not as long as hers. already got mascara in my hair. Oh, but I did not buy eyelashes for this, so let me see if I have anything that is going to work. I cut them in half, and I use the inside half on the outside of my eye, if that makes Whoa. sense. I just pop those on with some duo glue. I'm going to try these individual lashes. I haven't done this in a, such a long time, and I don't know if this glue is even good. This is probably not even the proper way to do it, but I don't care. Hmm, that kind of worked. It's too difficult. And that's upside down. There we go. Okay, I did it. Yay, we can move on. And I went and moisturized my face with the Embryolisse Primer slash Moisturizer. And for foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I don't know where it stopped recording, but I used a Vino Moisturizer. And then now I'm just using the Rainforest of the Sea Tarte water foundation and i'm not using a beauty blender i'm just using real techniques face brush and i'm not sure but it looks like she already did her eyebrows because she usually does that before doing each tutorial if that's the case we'll just do it at the end my nose basically down the whole center of my face just to brighten and highlight that area and then i'm gonna blend that out with the exact same sponge so she did under her eyes and then she did her nose and i think she did her chin oh and she did she put some on right here next i'm going to take my travel Wait. size lower <laughs> i'm not done yet ooh that's really bright on my lips powder and i'm going to dip my powder 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 powder, powder, powder. and set my under eyes with it this is the exact same sponge that i used Okay, so doing the powder, I just have a translucent powder from NYX, and I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush because that's all I've got. <coughs> now we're going to go back into the Morphe palette, and I'm using that transition shade underneath my lower lash line to kind of start to define that. I'm going in with that same gold shadow that we used on our lid, and I'm kind of focusing that on the inner half of my eye where it is on the top lid, and I'm just blending that out and then popping on some mascara on the bottom lashes I'm okay using my same Pause. Mascara. doing the crease shadow for the lower lash line and then she said she used the gold shade for the inner half and she used the tar mascara again And then she's on to bronzer. I don't have the bronzer she's using, but this is the bronzer that she did recommend in a recent video in the last couple of months. It's by L'Oreal. It's the Lumi Bronze it Powder. Now I'm going into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze slash contour my face. This is a great bronzer because it like is kind of cool tone, so it works as a contour and bronzer. Normally you would you wouldn't want to use a bronzer as a contour, but this one works for me. So now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced I Will Always Love You blush. This is my new blush favorite blush already. I'm not done contouring. I'm going to use this Tarte Parte blush. I'm going to go with highlighter. the highlighter in the shade Salted Caramel as my highlight. So I just was highlighting my entire face, all the high points. 
Um, this is my Lorac highlighter. It's broken, but I still use it. And so we're gonna do some highlighter. Do you like it? Ooh. And now I'm going in with the um, ColourPop Ultra Matte X Lippy Sticks. This is in the shade Hotline. After I put Hotline all over the lips, I took another shade called Daydream, and I just kind of contoured the outside of my lips, and it really helped to make my lips look more full. I'm going to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, because I think it's a similar color. Then I'm going to use a different lipstick for the contouring part that she did. I'm going to use this Lorac um, lipstick in the color Hipster. And I'm just going to use a little bit. It's kind of dark, so we'll see how this goes. Then I set the whole face together with the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. And that completes the look, you guys. I hope you like it. I love it. I don't have that setting spray, but I do have a Soothing Facial Mist by Garnier. It's made with rose water, so I just did that all over my face. I've never done this full glam in like a long time, but I like it a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want me to do more following other people's makeup tutorials, give it a thumbs up and also comment down below who you want me to do next. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you guys in a couple days for another video. Never give up, always smile, and don't forget to laugh a little. Bye!